All right. Anyway, all right. So I was doing some uh, some fucking around here. So I, I have to get this one up. But um, this is Adventures of Batman and Robin, and I'm trying to get a one up before I get this run going again. I'm probably gonna forget about the, the rest of them because I don't know where they are because it'll take me a fucking all day to figure it out. But if I ever do figure out where they all are, then that'll be, I just fucked that up. Welcome to the adventure of Batman and Robin once again. Thank you, Akils, for the sub. You still get excited when you see the pretzel? <laughs> All right, we got the red. Passing this thing. Got them, good. That. Fuck you. Got it. Bam. Better. All right. I'm not gonna try to find the other ones. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Ooh. Come on. I'm just gonna go. W one extras. You know. Good. That's more than I had before. Um. I gotta say, like, I, I love the graphics in this game. I love how it looks. It really does give that feeling of the animated show, the animated Batman series. You know? They do a good job, like, throughout making it feel like that show. I feel like the people who worked on this must have really been fans of Batman the Animated Series. They weren't just, this isn't one of those games like, you know, I don't know, Beethoven on, on NES where they were like, oh God, we got stuck on this game. They were like, they were probably very happy to be working on this. So it's, it's cool. So far, so good. Bam. That and that. Cool. Gonna have to do that fucking shooter stage again. Madness. Complete madness. Give me that. I'm pretty well powered up. Hey, there's some life. More life. Good. All right, it's boss time. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. So, good old Harley Quinn is hanging out in her little tank. It's the Harley Mobile. Harley! Why did you take my balloon tank out for a spin? You never let me drive your car, Puddin'. Doo doo doo. I'll be on this side. Oh! Boop. Damn. Oh no. Oh! Not good. Might have to start over, actually. <laughs> Hate to say. See if I can make it through. Oh my god, okay. 
I need to not get hit on this shit. Barely. Mr. J. Okay, one more hit. I'm gonna have to fucking start over. Oh my god, I did it. They better refill me. Ah, alright, good. Good start. Jeez. Thank you, God underscore Bulldog, for subbing tier one. God Bulldog, I appreciate the support. What's up, Nikki Fogg? A couple times, Zebby. Who has the kinkiest sex life? The Joker, Harley, the Joker and Harley, or Batman and Robin? Um, hmm, probably, probably Mr. Freeze and an icicle would be my answer. He likes to get down with those with those icicles. Give me a. That was good. I have to stick the ice cream in my ass. <laughs> Didn't make it obvious for you. Boom. Uh oh. Here we go. This is the next one up section if I can not fuck it up. God. I got it. Hell yes. All right, we're doing pretty well. Four extra lives. There should be even another one coming. Yes, freeze, Batman. In a cold, dark hell. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I've lost my, I lost my fucking mind. I swear to God. A long, long time ago, I lost my mind. Kind of want to watch more Batman, uh, the 60s series. I haven't watched in a while. I watched the whole series at one point, long time ago. Um, and then when the Blu-ray came out, I watched a bunch of them again. But before, previous to that, I had, had like a bootleg DVD set. Um, which had all the up, 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 which had all the episodes, <laughs> and I had watched them all. Uh, so I really should have go through and watch them all again. There's also, you know, uh, the main bad guy in this game is is Mr. Freeze, not not the Joker, but everybody thinks of the Arnold Schwarzenegger, Mr. Freeze. But Batman the Animated Series uh, if had an awesome Mr. Freeze. You know, if you, if you want to ever like kind of take Mr. Freeze a little more seriously, I guess they did a really good job with Mr. Freeze in that. And obviously, this game is you know based on that. But the 1960s, fuck, Batman had uh, had its own Mr. Freeze, which was which was goofy, and I think a few different actors played him. And that was the free Mr. Freeze I knew first as a kid, the one in the 1960s Adam West show. Everybody talked about, you know, Cesar Romero and Burgess Meredith, but, you know, there was other, you know. I think Frank Gorshin did The Riddler. I don't know the name of the actor who did Mr. Freeze, though. And, and like I said, I think there was a few different actors. There was a few different actors that played uh, The Riddler, too. Um, uh, Gomez. Did the Riddler a bit as well? Um, John Aston, who I met actually one time at a convention. John Aston, the original Gomez from the Adams family in the 1960s. He's a nice guy. It's cool, like you can go to those conventions and meet, you know meet people, meet all these people that you watched, you know, on television as a kid. 
All right, we're almost up to the final Harley Quinn fight here. Mr. J. Saw the new Harley Quinn movie. She was, she always just wanted, all she really wanted in life was a, was like a ham sandwich or something or a, or the sandwich looked delicious. I want one of those sandwiches too. It wasn't a ham sandwich. It was like a egg, egg sandwich or something. It fucking looked good though. I want that shit. That's that was worth fighting for. She's right. I saw a behind the scenes like uh, thing like online from that movie. Um, and there's some like crazy like shit that she does in the movie with like her baseball bat and like sort of like ac acrobatics and whatnot. And some of those stunts she actually did like herself. Like I thought some of that shit was like CG. And then like you can you can look at the behind the scenes uh, stuff and sh she actually like fucking was flipping around and doing some of that shit. It was actually really impressive. Like honestly, I was like, holy shit! Like that's real. Like, she actually did that shit. Those 3D effects. Egg and bacon. Egg and bacon. I think it was egg and bacon. Egg and cheese. Or egg and cheese. My egg and cheese sandwich. Egg and cheese sandwiches. I actually didn't mind that movie. There was a few parts of the movie. Like, near the end, I thought some of the action stuff. Like, they go inside the, uh... Like, the... I don't know, like the amusement thing or whatever. Some of some of some of the parts that I thought dragged a little bit, but overall, I actually didn't think that movie was too bad. Believe it or not, I didn't think it was great either, but it was all right. It was better than I thought it was gonna be. Did I read the Batman sixty six comics? Um, I read a couple of them, like one or two. Um, so, yeah, a like a little bit. I should I should invest some time and actually read more of them. They should make a compilation like book of all of them. I would buy that. I wonder if they actually did they make anything like that. Let me know if they did. I'll order that. <laughs> I need to not fucking die here. Oh, this is not good. Oh man. I gotta pull this together here. Mmm, that wasn't good. Oh man, I just missed that. Damn it! Jim. I can, this is important right here. If I can fucking pull this together. Fuck! It sucks. If I could have fucking made it to the next thing. Damn it. Honestly, I should probably fucking restart the game in all sincerity. But I'm gonna keep going. If I die again on this stage, I'm gonna restart for sure. Damn it, that sucks. Fucking sucks. Did I just get something out of that? I don't even know. Joker's little henchman. 
Alright, I need to not die on this. There's no reason to. Unless I just do fucking terrible. Mmm! No! Fuck. Mm. Yeah, go ahead, do that thing, that's fine. Hey, Mr. J. Okay. Should be alright now. I hope, I think, I think, I hope. Oh, that was fucking close. Nice, he's doing this thing. That's gonna help. Ah, oh, I fucked that up. It'll refill me on the next stage, and now I gotta move. Oh no, what did I just do? What did I just do? Oh my god, I really just fucked up. Okay, Mike pulled together. Mike. Oh my god, I just got fucking lucky. Sloppy playing. Be sloppy. <laughs> you played like shit, bat. But you got me anyway. You got a boner from her? That's good. My chat's getting boners from Harley Quinn. Bump, 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 bump. Where's the low tier god? Twitch, what? Have I ever beaten Bart versus the world on NES or Genesis? Uh, a really long time ago, like super duper long time ago. I was like, it was either high school or college. Long, like 20 something years ago I did. I haven't played that in a very long time. I was always more, like, I played a lot more Bart um, versus Space Mutants. If I was going to speedrun any game, what game would you be the best at? Um, I, yeah, like, I don't do the speedruns, but, um, like, if, if I was going to, I don't know. Uh... I don't know, maybe like a Castlevania or Ninja Gaiden or TMNT or something like that. One of those, I guess. But I'm not, I don't, I'm not going to, but if I had to, I guess. I don't like time limits in games, like in general. So like the last thing I would want to do is impose a time limit on, on myself. Because I, whenever a time limit comes up in, in a game, I'm always like, ah, God, here we go with the fucking time limit. It just annoys me. So I don't want to, like, put a time limit on myself by doing that. It's just not... I think, you know, some people, I think, have a lot of fun doing that, and that's fantastic. It's just not a challenge that I enjoy. So that's why I don't do it, because I don't like it. I, I don't, like, want to do that. So I like to, to do other challenges. Um, like, I, I like doing, like, deathless stuff. Like, that's... That's more, I'm more interested in, in that. Um, so, yeah, I like, I like deathless challenges or, or like other, other sorts of challenges. And you guys know that, you've, you've seen me do all kinds of different weird things. Like in Castlevania, I did like that um, uh, whip only. And like, I, I think I like doing like no, no sub weapons and things like that. I'm, I'm more like, I like to do other, other types of things. The speed thing is not really. For me. It's cool though. I'm glad there's so many people out there that, that do that. And boom. That. Where is he going to throw him? Over here. Good old hobby. Why 
Was this after the movie, by the way, with um, um, Tommy Lee Jones? Or did that come out after this game? Because this game, I think, is 95. What year was... I guess that was Batman and Robin, right? Or no, that was uh, Batman Forever. I think it was Batman Forever. So what year, basically, I guess what I'm asking is what year did Batman Forever come out? Batman Forever was 95, same year. Oh, so it came out the same year. So I wonder if they were literally thinking like um, Tommy Lee Jones, because he's like on a helicopter in the movie, right? Isn't he like in, on a, hanging from a helicopter or some shit? In the in that movie, I haven't watched it in a really long time, but, but I kind of think I remember that. And like Batman's like caught in a safe or some shit, and he has to escape from the safe, and then he's like, and then, he's, and then it's like hanging from a fucking helicopter or something. Doesn't that happen or, or no? And remember what I'm talking about? My God, I should probably rewatch that because I've seen like the Michael Keaton. You know, I've seen the Jack Nicholson one like eight billion times, but I've seen the other ones like a lot less. Might be actually funny to rewatch those. I probably should rewatch those. I mean, they're not very great. They're great in a way, I guess. They're funny. <laughs> But, I mean, as far as those movies, I, I like the Jack Nicholson one. My favorite Batman movie, though, is the 1966 Batman movie. By far. I think that's the best Batman movie. No, like, not kidding. lives I'm on this not bad blow them up blow them up blow them up This game is so much fun, by the way. There's some things about this game that I don't totally love. Um, I think that the shooter section, like I like I was talking earlier, uh, like I do actually really love the shooter section. I think it's great, and I think it's like I, I think it's cool that it's like a real fucking game in the game and all that. But they don't like put a, any characters into it. I think that that's where they dropped the ball on that part. I think what they should have done is at, I think, because that goes on for such a long time, uh, the shooter part of it, I think what would have been cool is, is if there was a mid boss and then the end boss, and then, ooh, I fucked that up. That's not good. I beat it anyway though. Um, I think there should be a mid boss and an end boss, and like the mid boss could be like Poison Ivy in a fucking ship or something, and then at the end you have like uh, somebody else in the ship, like put in the Riddler or something, or you know just stick a couple characters in there and give them their own kind of like ship. I think that that would have helped this shooter section give it a little more character, because um, because this whole section is a lot of just like ba very basic ships. But I do like that they made it the bat glider and not the bat wing, um, because I feel like the bat glider doesn't get as much attention. Have you seen Top Secret with Val Kilmer? I have seen Top Secret with Val Kilmer. My favorite part of the movie 
uh, of that. I haven't seen that in a while, but uh, the favorite part of that movie is. Uh, I don't remember exactly what happens, but because uh, it's been a long time. But there's a part of the movie where the guy um, he sneezes into his own hand. He's like, Achoo! and he pulls his hands away, and he looks in his hands, and he starts screaming. He's like, Aah! and then he jump, and then I believe he jumps through a window because he's so terrified that he just sneezed into his own hand. I remember that making me like piss my fucking pants, like laughing. Like that part was really funny. Um, that was a funny movie. But yeah, I haven't seen that in many years. Or was that Hot Shots? That was Top Secret, right? I might I might be getting Hot Shots and Top Secret uh, flipped around, but I've seen them I've seen them both though. <laughs> it's been a while. Penguin plane. Oh, the penguin! There you go. At, at the end of uh, this level. It should be the penguin, and then like maybe midway could be like poison ivy or something. That should have been it. Spy hard, <laughs> killer croc, yeah. Best Batman movie out of all of them, Mask of the Phantasm. It's a good pick. Um, I actually like a lot of the uh, DC animated movies too. A lot of those are actually really good. Um. But yeah, I, 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 you know, I have to go for the Adam West stuff. Like, I just, that's just like, I grew up with the, the, the Adam West Batman was the first television show I ever watched. That and like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Like, as a kid, like, that's what I like loved as a little kid. Because they would show reruns of um, Batman all the time on TV back then. And uh, I would always watch that. And and then He-Man was new when I was a kid, so I would watch that when I was... That's how old I am. I watched new episodes of He-Man when they aired. You know? So I, I loved the original He-Man cartoon, and I loved as corny as it was. So I grew up on a lot of really fucking corny stuff, like the original He-Man cartoon, the original, um, you know, Batman stuff. A lot of corny television. But um, I loved it anyway. I, I still think that those are good, really good shows. I don't know. But then later they did like more serious takes on all that stuff. You know, um, I guess the Tim Burton Batman was a more serious, so, sort of more serious take on it. You know, at least more serious than the 1960s. Um, ah man, I, I don't want to flip the color there. Um. And then He-Man in 2002 had its own uh, revival show, which was great, great show. I, I, I have watched that whole series years back, and that's a that's a great. Um, you know, sometimes y y they do you know um, remakes of things, and sometimes the remakes can be great. That's an example of a great remake. I'm not against you know all remakes. Just. Uh, it's just that I feel like also I feel like everything has to be remade. I don't think every fucking thing that exists has to fucking be remade. But now they're you know what now they're remaking He-Man yet again, and I don't know how I f necessarily feel about that. But I will say that the 2002 show was very very good, and like I think that it like in an ideal world. The 2002 show could have been like another season or two, like longer, and then that would have been enough. But I think it got canned a little early, unfortunately. So because of that, um, I think I guess uh, you know I feel I feel like that show could have went on a, a, like at least one more season if it was good. I mean may, maybe it was a good idea that it stopped because a lot of times you know shows go on too long and then they run their course and whatever. So. But, uh, so, I don't know, maybe it was better that it stopped. But, so hopefully that that new He-Man show will be good. I don't know. I, haven't, I guess, I don't know if they've shown anything from it yet. Um, so I, I have no idea um, what it's going to be like. But I think I did hear it has something... 
to do with the same animation studio that worked on the Castlevania stuff. And if that's true, then that then that's a good sign, because um, you know, at least that makes me feel like they're going to take it seriously and kind of like probably do it the right way. Hopefully. Um, I mean, I have some problems with the Cal- with that Castlevania show, but like it's, uh, but I, you know, I think that Castlevania show is pretty pretty darn good for what it is. Um, so ho- hopefully they don't butcher He Man. We'll see though. We'll see what they do. That sucks that I fucking got this, by the way. The red would have been probably better to keep. Alright, at least I blew that thing off. This is the toenail ship. As I like to call it. Mr. Toenail ship. There we go. Boom. Okay, we got all that. I'm gonna attempt to get a red back. Cloud section incoming. So this is now we're up to getting up to area two of this. This is my second playthrough, by the way, of the game tonight. This morning, whatever fucking time of day it is, I don't know. Time doesn't exist <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. There is no time. The only time there is is time to watch my fucking streams. Time to, time to come in my stream and play video games. That's the only time you need to concern yourself with. <laughs> time, time for more coffee, too. God damn it, I'm getting wrecked here. I'm gonna pause it for one second here, because there's, there's like never an, an opportunity for me to like stop, so I'm gonna just stop it for a second so I can see what you guys are saying. <sighs> Isn't there a new He-Man movie coming out soon? I don't know. Where's the Thundercats re- reboot? Hopefully it's uh, gone forever and never want to hear about that. Have I seen the Thundercats Aurora shows garbage? I talked when they originally did that trailer. I talked a lot about it. Um, I'm done talking about it. So I gave my thoughts on that already. The red planes. The small ones? Really? From those, Andy JB? Maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe you're right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep a look at it. I didn't think it was those guys, but. The remake before Aurora was pretty good. Yeah, the one they did, it, like, whatever, on Cartoon Network, right? Several years before that. It was alright. They, they tried. It wasn't terrible. I didn't think it was great either, but it was alright. Oh, if you kill the whole line of them. That makes sense. Thank you, Andy JB. I, I got a question for you guys. Um, I saw a little bit of footage of that Avengers game. They're going to make like a, you know, Iron Man and all that, like a video game, probably for, you know, all the, that's like a triple A big game. When's that coming out? And wh- from what you guys have seen of it, does that look, game look any good? Because I kind of like the Avengers. I'm like I'm not like I said I'm not a huge like superhero guy, but I saw those movies. I thought they were like entertaining. I'd probably play that game. I think if it, if it looks if if the gameplay is good. Mick Lucifer says it looks like hot trash, and Jamie A. Ruse says it looks like shit. Oh really? Okay, that's too bad. Edos is making it if you know their games. I do not know their games. So 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 it looks like it's not going to be good. That's too bad. Okay. Cuz the Spider-Man game I liked a lot. Actually, I didn't finish it, but I should finish it. I just I didn't there's no reason that I didn't finish that game by the way. I just stopped playing it. It's a really good game. That happens sometimes with modern games with me. It's just like, you know, I mean, I beat Doom Eternal, but like um 
I don't know, it's just like kind of like long. I was enjoying it, that was a good game. I just wanted to talk to my chat for a minute because I know I've, I've been focusing like only on the game. So that's too bad though. Um, so I guess I guess I probably won't be playing that then. And and also I was kind of excited for that Predator game too. I like the trailer of it like looked like it might be a cool game and then everybody told me that that game's apparently shit too so that's that's too bad because I like like the predator like I like the original predator movie and I, I haven't seen the second predator movie in so so long but I think I remember like in the second predator movie too um, uh, and then there's like the later ones like the alien vs predator and all that stuff but those I didn't really um, like too much but like the original predator I think is a real good movie. I remember seeing that as a kid. <laughs> I remember it was so grotesque. The first time I saw the predator's face, and then he takes the mask off, and his like face like opens up. I was like, "Oh God, no!" <laughs> Should probably rewatch that. I haven't seen that in so many years. There's a lot of things I guess I should need to rewatch. <laughs> too many things. Too, there's too many movies and there's too many video games. I can't keep up with shit, you know. And then what happens is like, t like a movie like that's a good example. Like Predator. I haven't seen it in so many years, and I'd like to rewatch it because like I forget, uh, you know, everything that happens in it. I mean, I remember like I remember mostly like the end of the movie. I don't really remember like what what happens. Like, I have no idea what happens in the beginning of Predator. I couldn't tell you. I to, that's why I need to rewatch it. Fuck. Is that gonna flip? No. Yeah, you were right. That was it was the last one. Boom. This game is addicting as fuck, by the way. Uh, I like like I said, I, I do have a few issues with this game, but like I think that this is like a really good game. Like overall. I mean, sure, it's not perfect, but it's it's pretty fucking close. <laughs> yeah. I, and I love how challenging it is. Like, I love challenging games. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I made it. So I made it to Mad Hatter so far. Um. Like who knows? Maybe I'll never beat this game, but that's I think that's great. I like I love games that are so hard that like it might take me my whole fucking life to beat it. That's great. Like then I can keep coming back to it. There's nothing worse than a game that's too fucking easy. You know, and and you know some people feel totally differently, and that and that's fine. You know, some people don't like games that are that hard, but I I like um, I like challenge, but I also have to like the game. There's certain. There's certain games that are really hard uh, that I also like. I I have to like the gameplay too, if that makes sense. And this is a game that I, I, I really enjoy the gameplay. Some games, you know, some games are hard, and I'm like, eh, but I don't like the game though. So <laughs> depends on what it is. Because if I'm gonna invest a lot of time into beating a like a really difficult game, I want to like the game on some level, you know. Shit. You 
and then then there's a game like here's an uh, ex like I, I I beat King's Knight, which is really uh, hard and annoying, and um, that's just like I think I beat it because it was pissing me off more, but I hate that game. I fucking hate King's Knight. Um, when I first started, you know why maybe because when I first started playing that game. It was just like sort of like a shooter, and I was like, you know, I kind of like liked the idea of it at first, but then it just like the execution of it, just like, whatever. You, you go watch my streams of it. I talk for like hours and hours and hours about it. We did a video on it. Like that game, I hate that fucking game. Fuck King's Night. Like seriously, I fucking hate that shit. I don't, like one of the most pissed off I've ever been in all my streams that I've ever done, and I've been pissed at a lot of things, was um, the fucking jumping in that. Like near the end of the game, there's like this shit where you're like fucking, you have to like jump, and but like the little things like make you jump or whatever. I hate that shit so much. That's a terrible, terrible fucking game. Terrible. Anyway, I think I'm on the last section of this now. I believe. Yeah, here comes the, like, the airship. All right, let me pause for a second. You love the stream? Oh, you love those streams? Hey, hey Falloran. Like Mr. Gimmick, hard game but shitty attacks. I didn't really like Mr. Gimmick, honestly. Um, there's a lot of things. There's things about Mr. Gimmick I do like, but I don't know. I know a lot of people like that game. I don't really like it that much. I hate to say, and I, I mean, I like. You know what? Um, that's one of the most expensive games that I have. But uh, also another expensive game I have, Little Samson. Now that's a good game, Little Samson is an excellent fucking game. That's a fun, 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 fun game. If you guys ever get like an EverDrive or emulator or whatever, um, I mean, I wouldn't spend the money, at, you know, to buy an original copy unless you're a collector or something, but like, um, it's a great game. Mr. Gimmick, mm, I didn't really like it. I wasn't enjoying it, you know? You never even heard of King's Knight? Well, don't worry about it. It just fucking sucks. You don't need to hear about it. Will I make your babies? Will I have your babies? Yeah, sure. I'll have your babies. Let's let's go. <laughs> I don't either because of the attack. You don't like the attack. The attack. Were you watching those streams? I don't remember you in, in those streams. Maybe you were. Um, but uh, yeah, the attack was uh, just. It was just annoying. I don't know. Oh, it didn't. It wasn't fun to me. How do I like Cuphead? Uh, I like Cuphead. Cup, Cuphead's pretty fun, actually. I should probably stream that again someday. I'm not very good at it, but... Um... Oh, you were helping me with it? Sorry, I have a bad memory. I just I didn't remember. Um, but thank you. <laughs> when you get the ball power up, it charges your shot every second. Shoot one second apart. The ball power up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know that, Terry. Um, thank you, though. I just don't do it because you know, I suck. <laughs> you can't wait to play Cuphead waiting for physical release. It, has Cuphead not had a physical release yet? It's so, so popular. Uh, I'm surprised if it's still... Um, that we're still waiting on a physical release for Cuphead? Really? I mean, I just downloaded it, so I don't know. The Messenger is really good. Yeah, I streamed it. Messenger's, the Messenger is good. Messenger was really good. Like, I really enjoyed playing that game. Um, at, when I played it, and I played through it, and I beat it. Um, but I just, I don't, for some reason, I don't know why, I don't have a desire to play it again. Um, but I enjoyed it when I played it. But I probably won't play through it again. So, I don't, I don't know why. Why is that? 
Like it was it was a good game, but it's it's not like it's not a, it's not like Ninja Gaiden where it's like I know that someday I'll come back cuz I'm going to want to play Ninja Gaiden again. That you know, Messenger I'm like eh. It's not a repeatable game. Yeah. It's good to play through once though, at least. I tried to get New game plus three, but couldn't. Oh, on uh, Messenger. Blazing Chrome would be good again. Yeah, that that one. The Blazing Chrome. I'll someday I'll play again. Blazing Chrome. I really enjoy that game a lot. Actually, they did a great job on that. That's that's a good game. Also, uh, that uh, you know that blood stain. 8-bit, uh, whatever, is good too. I did the video on. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. I just got the wrong thing. Oh, boy. That's shit. Oh, boy. I just fucked up big. Okay. I don't know how this is gonna go. Well. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, oh, there's another one. Thank you, God. Thank you, fucking God. Okay. Oh, thank you, God, there was another one. Oh, my God. Got it. All right. Because on this part, I really, I, I prefer to have the green, and I think the uh, the blue is not super duper strong in comparison to the green, from what I know. If anybody in the chat that knows about the game, I know Terry in the chat seems to know about this game. You can confirm that for me if that's true. I'm pretty sure the green is a lot stronger than the blue. So I, I, I prefer to have green here. Cause that's my extra life. Look at I look at it hiding back there, fuckers. Doing that shit to me. about this is this is like a real fucking shooter that's that's like what's stupid like with like uh, don't get me wrong I, I love like mario uh, oh no this is the extra fucking life i love mario land but like when you get to the shooter stage in mario land it's just like it's not a real fucking game you know it's just like they're just like oh let's put a little shooter section in here i mean i guess it's all right with that because mario land's kind of just like a cutesy kind of deal this is like this is more serious business. I mean, Mario is more like uh, for like a wider audience, I'd say, than than a game like this. I know this is like Batman, but like this is like for. I, I think this is a game for like hardcore gamers. There's a lot of Batman games, and I think uh, this is this is one that's more for like you know people want to get kind of more serious. 
I'm trying to think of a Batman game that's more like accessible. That, what, what's a Batman game that's like for everyone? I don't even know if I'd say Batman on NES is for everyone because Batman on NES is pretty can be pretty tough too. Um, maybe like uh, Batman. Uh, like what's it? I'm just trying to think. What is a Batman game that would be like fucking for everybody? Um, uh, my chat probably has answers. I'm gonna look in a second. The Arkham series? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, maybe maybe like Arkham. Arkham can get pr pretty tough, but not probably not, not like not like this shit though. Lego Lego Batman. There you go. That yeah, there, there's the answer. I mean, that's for a anybody who do that. That's an accessible Batman game that's for everybody. There you go. That's that's even more more of a good answer. Batman Returns Super Nintendo. Yeah, uh, that game actually can get a little tough. I think I think the the answer I was looking for was the Lego Batman. That's like anybody could play that. So here the real thing is that you just don't want to touch the ship. Don't touch the ship. Don't touch that ship. Keep your hands off that ship. <laughs> don't touch my ship. See, we're like right here. That should be the penguin sticking out of that fucking ship. They dropped the ball right there. Okay, and there's the shooter stage. Whew. Boom. A boom. What a piece of ship. Oh, hey Brody31, thanks for the sub. Is this a really late or a really early stream? Time matters not here in the land of Mike Matei. Live. Pretty good shit. The Penguin carried the Gotham TV show. You know what? I haven't watched Gotham at all. Is that show good? I, I have not seen any of it. All I know about it, literally all I know about that show is that it's a show. <laughs> First season is on the slow side, but then they introduce the villains. Okay. This is a highlighted message. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's not a real great show. I recommend it. Okay, well, it seems like people in the chat have different opinions about it. You could not take Gotham seriously. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't take the Adam West show seriously, so I mean, like... Why, why do people, so many people feel like you gotta take Batman seriously? I mean, it's a guy in a cape, like, <laughs> walking around. <laughs> I mean... But it isn't goofy that way, right? So it's so what you're saying is like it's it's more of a serious tone show, but you you couldn't get into it. Is more of what you're saying? Fearless Flyer says it takes itself way too seriously. Uh, I might not. I might not be too into it then. Actually, maybe. You know, I'm just gonna stick with Batman the animated series. I think. 60s was pure awesomeness. I have to, you know what? I gotta rewatch the episode. There is an episode of Batman the 1960s series, and it has the cowboy uh, shame villain in it. And he, you know, the famous scenes when they would punch each other, you know, Batman and Robin, and they're punching the henchmen and all that, and it says pow, whap, and all that stuff. It, it's like one of those scenes, I think, or it's a big fight scene. And I remember there's there was one part where 
they're fighting, and Batman, I guess, gets knocked on the ground or something. And I just remember him, like, dragging himself along the floor. And he's, like, dragging his ass along the floor. And, and I was just like, you know, you watch, like, the modern Batman movies, and it's, like, all the Christopher Nolan, like, fast, like, editing and punching and shit. And then you watch that, and you got, like, Batman dragging his ass on the ground. I'm like, oh, this is, this is great, like, fight scene choreography here. <laughs> I, I really would like to watch, like, see that again. I gotta see that again sometime. Batman. Brave and the Bold. Alright, so, um... Alright, we're on the, uh, beginnings of the Mad Hatter stuff now, I guess. Um, this is where the game starts getting really hard, so I'm gonna have to really buckle down here. We, did, we made it here earlier, but now it's, uh... I have a little, I'm doing a little bit better than last time actually, but not, not a ton, but a little bit, so I need to, if I can have a real good round, we'll see. Basically, I got really fucked on that caterpillar thing last time. That sucked. closer so you can actually grab the hearts oh, these rabbits are a fucking problem I tell you look at Batman go go Batman go Batman go 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 Batman <laughs> oh god <laughs> I feel like Super Mario World with the cape going around the levels <laughs> It's like cheap. Give me some damn hearts. Motherfucker, keep coming up from that side. Do you really have a heart? Don't you think it's time you used it? Do you really have a heart? Try it out and do some good. Oh my goodness. So many little guys. Poor little guys. Poor little soldiers. Are we good? Is that it? Yeah. Alright. Nothing, huh? Fuck you. Man. Yes! That's exactly what I needed right there. That's a big deal, actually. Oh! Mmm! That's pretty good. Now it's cat time, right? Cheshire cat. Thank you. 
Damn it. Ah. Damn. Yes! All right. Die, motherfucker, die. You want to get over on the side on that part, you can get crushed. Woo! Ha! -ha. <sighs> All right, this is where the shit's gonna hit the fan. Shit's gonna hit the fan real hard. Cat got your tongue? <sighs> Looks like a cuphead villain. What if you go left? You can't. <sighs> okay. <sighs> it just, you know. If I can get that, that'd be awesome. That would be nice. Mr. Bigglesworth. Fuck. Good, good, good. Oh. Ooh. Oh fuck, where even am I? Oh god. If I could end up getting health, it would be super great. Oh man, fuck me. Not too good, not good, not good. Mm. Fuck, if I would've got red there, boy. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Oh man, and I almost fucking died again. Oh boy. Not good, not good. <clears throat> it's a fucking hard level. Really hard. gonna come on this side, huh?
No! Damn it! That sucks. Alright. Hmm. Get away from me, motherfucker. Fuck. All right, I'm just gonna go. I don't know. Is that like, come on. Come on. No, like the last guy here has an extra. This guy. Yes, got it, okay. Okay, this shit gets crazy. Damn it. I hate this motherfucker. Damn it. Fucking upgrades. Flip, 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 flip. Red, good. Okay. Mm. You gonna flip? Trying to get this fully charged. At least I'm getting health. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch.
Right, I got another green. I mean, I'm, tr I'm trying to have red on this, but as long as I'm upgrading it, go. There it. I mean, it might be fully charged at this point. I just gotta flip it to red. Fucker. Oh, that, there it is. Okay. Got it. Oh no, it's still not fully charged. God damn it. Crazy. It's close though. There we go. I think I'm full charged now. Yay, all right. Hooray! Hooray for the bat! <laughs> Come on, fucker. Be nice if one of these guys had like fucking extra life or something. I don't think there's extra any extra lives on any of these. As far as I know, I mean, be cool if there's one on this section. All right, that's the end of that. Looks like the inside of a long Lego block. Batman Forever had better graphics, but the gameplay sucked. Batman Forever, yeah, everybody lo everybody loves Batman Forever. Everybody's favorite Batman game. Connect four. You think the artwork in this is great? I do too, Dickface87. Thanks for coming in here, Dickface87. I appreciate you joining the stream, and I, and I totally agree with you. Um, I think the artwork is like, especially this stage. Like, I mean, I like, I was a fan as, as a kid of, um, you know, Alice in Wonderland, uh, like, the, like the Disney movie. So, you know, just. That's cool. But this is like a fucked up version, you know, of Alice in Wonderland. Because <laughs> he's, cause he's a maniac or whatever. And everything's like a ro robot, so he's sort of like, um, like Dr. Wily or something in a way. But yeah. But I totally agree with you, um, Dickface87. Like, I think the art is really... I think they did a great job. Like, all, all, almost all across the board. Like, if I gave a game a rating, this would probably be like a 98 out of 100. There's a couple little things here and there that bug me, but like, this is like really good. All right, at this point, should I take it? Oh, there'll probably be one more before the end, don't you think? I think there'll be one more, so I'm gonna go red again, just for now. But next one that's green, I'll probably take the green for the Mad Hatter. I'm taking a little bit of a gamble there that they're gonna have another fucking thing for me. They better. They fucking better. <laughs> There's a good amount. I mean, there's all these things left, so. It's good. Are they gonna happen here? Come on. Okay. Whoa! And if you're wondering, uh, if you're just joining or anything, and you're wondering what, like how far I've made it before, uh, the furthest I've made it is to the Mad Hatter, so we're almost, we're almost to that point, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can do it. Oh, you know what? There should be a health upgrade here. Right there. Boom. I remember that from last time. Thank God. Now I just need to get a... 
a green. Oh my god, is that gonna be a thing? Flip it, flip it, flip it. Green. Bam. Alright. Everything's green from here on out. Isn't this the end of it right here? It might be. I think this is the end of it. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's it. That's the end of it. All right, Mad Hatter. Oh, my God. All right. Something about like fucking shooting the hat at the end or something. Oh, this, this, is it this hat? Is it the little hat? Something about, what was the thing with the, the one up? Oh, I got it. Did I get the, did I get a one up there? I was standing on top of it, huh? Right? So, did I get it? I guess I got it, huh? Because I had three lives now, I have four. Cool. So that's a Mad Hatter. So this is the furthest I've been in the game, guys. So this is Mr. Freeze, Freeze's world. Thank you, Brundlefly69, for the sub. Have I noticed it? in the original Twilight Zone they say robot instead of robot? No. <laughs> what episode? <laughs> that's funny. Um, no, I have not noticed that. Who do I like more, Mad Hatter or Mysterio from Spider-Man? That's a great question. Um, I like them both a lot. Um, I actually really like the um, the new the two new Spider-Man movies. I, um, but um, so Mysterio, it was cool that Mysterio was in there. Um, I don't know. I like them both. Is gonna be my answer. Toy Man's better. Haha. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I, I can't. I can't answer that. I like them both. That's my, that's my answer. I'm not sure which one I like better. I probably have to watch um, more, read more of the comics with all of them or something, to really be able to determine more. Because I haven't read a lot of the, like the comics with all the characters. So. Somebody earlier was talking about a Mad Hatter Batman comic that was like real good or something that, that I haven't read, so I don't know. They're both cool. I was really happy though that they had uh, Mysterio as a villain in, in the new movie though. Um, because he's somebody I wanted to see for a while. All right. Oh boy. Well, I mean, even at, so, at this point out, I mean, I'll probably, you know, I'm probably, I doubt I'll beat the game here, but at least we made it to the last world. It's pretty, you know, further than I thought we were gonna get. I mean, we'll say I'll, I'll do my best, but. I wouldn't expect me to do this here. I'd be really surprised if I did it. 
be nice. Okay, that's the end of the first area then. <sighs> Mad scientist. Hey, you fucker. Throwing your beakers at me. Don't be doing that. I'm Batman. Shove the beaker up your ass. guys have any life? Is it? Damn it. Motherfucker. Well, at least that's like just sitting there, though. Come on, get green, get green. Okay. Oh my god. Do not hit that. Yes. Go. Good. Oh. Jesus. <clears throat> that just fucked me up. I hope there's no more of those fucking tanks. They're horrible. Oh! Damn. All right, that helped. Jesus. Kick the tank in the balls. Oh, nice. I finally got around to follow Mike. Thank you, Snakey24, for the follow. How long have I been streaming today? Uh, th like three and a half hours. I played through the whole game once, and I got to the Mad Hatter, and then I died. But now I just beat the Mad Hatter. Now I'm on the last world, but I don't know if I'm going to get through it. Probably not. But, I mean, I'm happy that I made it this far, to be honest with you. use the Mr. Freeze emote, by the way. <laughs> this is probably the, the stage to do it. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. 
Made it. Made it to the next area. We're getting there. So this is like the last hallway in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES, I guess. Because we got fucking spacemen. All the hardest games end with a tunnel with spacemen with laser fucking beams. Apparently. I think Mr. Freeze is, is after right after this? Or close to it? I think we're getting pretty close. From what I know. Oh boy. There might be another area, I forget. I've seen I've seen footage of it before. Boom. He's like in a spaceship flying around or something. focus here. It's over, I think. Oh my god. We're on the end of this fucking game. Oh my god. So I don't know how this is gonna go or what happens, so. No idea. I'm just hoping they wanna hand out fucking health. first. Damn. Oh my god, these, what are these fucking things? Okay, he just came out of his little fucking hole.
parts there. There's like not another section to this or something. <laughs> like I have no idea. Like if he's gonna fucking do more shit after this. I didn't get enough hearts there. just beat this fucking game. Unless he does something else. Did he do something else? I think I just beat it. Holy shit. Another one bites the dust. Holy mackerel. Thank you, Illusioner. <sighs> Thank you very much, Big Family Gaming. Let's look at this. Before, so I'm just I'm just reading I just want to say <laughs> revenge is a diff dish best served chilled <laughs> And the mad laughter of one particular prankster. Who could that be? <laughs> cool. Well, well, I did not expect to beat that on the stream. I thought I'd have to stream it a couple more times. So that's cool. Uh, that's it. That's Batman and Robin on Sega Genesis. Uh, this game's. I think this game's fantastic. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the weapon power-up system is the only thing that can be a little bit... Because yeah, sometimes you have to wait for the weapons to like flip around. I feel like it might have been a little better if they would have made it like... To where... Whenever you, whenever you get one of those weapon power-ups, it just sends you to the next level no matter what. And then if you wanted to switch your weapon, you hit like the C button or some, or like different button or something, instead of like having to wait for the thing to flip around. That's probably the only thing um, about the game that really kind of irks me. 
But other than that, um, I think, like, I think this is one of my, like, this is an excellent, like, one of my favorite Sega Genesis games, I think. Um, you know, it's like, I think this is, like, up there with, like, Shinobi 3 and, um, like, um, you know, some of the, some of the best. Like, I think it's really good. Batman and Robin Wrath only next. <laughs> Batman and Robin Wrath only, yeah. Gargoyles, yeah, I'll have to do gargoyles. This looks fun, but I'm sure motherfucker Mike makes it look easier than it is. Uh, I mean, it, it's a hard game. This is a hard game. Like, so if you want to play this game yourself, I, I want to give a tip. Um, you got to collect the power ups, and like, I think there's like eight or nine levels to the power ups, and you got to pay attention to how the batarangs like look to be able to tell how far powered up you are. That just comes from like playing it to know how strong it is. Um, on the bosses, you, pr you pretty much want to use the green, and in the levels, more so the red um usually like especially with like a lot of those guys that are flipping around and stuff you want to have this spread shot so basically i'd say like spread shot red for the levels green for the bosses for, uh, mostly um uh alternate your attacks between um the shot the charge shot and the melees um if you, you know, if you want to do this, and also, like, you, you gotta practice the stages, like, you ex expect to, like, practice the stages, like, over and over a bunch, but also, like, just remember, like, the biggest tip I can give with this game is you need to be, like, you need to be charged up. Like, if you don't have full weapons, you're not gonna get too far, probably. Um, it's, think of it like Gradius, um, think of it like Gradius. Um, Gradius becomes easier and easier. Gradius becomes easier and easier the more powerful you are. Like if if you're playing Gra Gradius and you have like four laser beams and like all your options and stuff, you're gonna have a much easier time beating Gradius. Same thing here. If you're fully charged, you're gonna have a much easier time with this game. That's you gotta go full Batman. That's right. You gotta go full Batman. So that's the tip with this game. Even even still though, even when you're fully charged, it's still tough. So it's, it's a tough game. Have a nice day. <laughs> the soundtrack's incredible. Yeah, just like it's just real good. Did I play? Biohazard on Sega yet? Uh, a little bit. Biohazard uh, Battle or whatever it's called. Hey, hey, uh, Daphine one. Thanks for coming in. I'm actually probably at the end of my stream here because I just beat this game and it was fucking, it was hard, so. I like this game so much, like I almost want to play it again right now. I'm not gonna, gonna because my hand like hurts after playing it for that long. I've been playing, I played it for like three hours or whatever, but like that's how much I enjoy playing this. Like I kind of want to keep it going. Uh, I, I'm not going to, I'm just like talking the chat a little bit before I go, but like it's that much fun that if my hand wasn't, it's tough, it's like, I don't know, my hand's kind of bothering me now because I've been fucking playing for like three, four hours or whatever. It's a good James and Mike Monday game. Oh, this? Yeah, you know, that's not a bad idea actually. I should, we could do that. Someday. When are you streaming next, Mike? I don't know. I stream whenever I get time and I'm in the mood too. So if you want to, um, follow just follow and set up notifications and you'll know 
on your like phone and stuff. And you'll know when I'm when I'm live. You'll get your notification. As I say, turn on all your devices. Turn on your television in your living room. Turn on your laptop. Turn on your desktop. Keep them all on 24 hours a day. Leave your laptop open. Set your um, your energy on your computer so that your computer never falls asleep. Turn up the volume all the way on your television. Blast the volume all the way. Bring up Mike Matei live on Twitch. Leave it up. Every room in the house that you ha have some kind of device, your cell phone, laptops, everything, full blast. And all of a sudden, it's going to be in the, you know, it could be in the middle of the night, it could be in the middle of the day, you never know. It could be breakfast time, it could be dinner time, and you're going to hear, FUCK! And then you'll know I'm, then you'll know I'm live. Turn on your vibrator. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody's like, somebody's like, and they're like, oh, 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 God, oh, Mike must be streaming. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oz Rocket for the Twitch Prime sub. I keep all devices on and set to Twitch for when Mike gets online. I keep earbuds in my ears at full volume to wake me in addition to five alarms set at five minute intervals. Brundlefly, you got the idea. That's what you do.